Tubesters, uh, welcome to another one of Gav's videos. Uh, thanks for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, this is uh, a fairly quick one, so I can hear a collective sigh of relief. Uh, I just wanted to show you these um, uh, battle scale resin walls that I showed. I did a, a bit of a review on, um, or show and tell, a few weeks back, and I finally got round to doing them. These are for my 10 mil buildings and uh, 10 mil figures. Uh, I'm hope, hopefully they can be used for more or less anything. I mean, obviously I've got them originally for the League of Augsburg project that I'm uh, working on at the moment, but um, I've also got 10 mil American Civil War figures to paint up at some stage, and I can't see why they wouldn't uh, roughly be used for for parts of those. You know, um, different walled areas, obviously. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just have a quick squeeze. Uh, so far they've been fairly indestructible because I actually bounced one on the floor from uh, about uh, five foot up in the air and it actually bounced off a metal radiator before it hit the floor onto a laminate floor and um, it's perfectly fine so hopefully that says a lot for the product. Um, I'm going to be sticking, I have tried to put lo lollipop sticks underneath, ice lolly sticks. Uh, the normal size ones are too small for the base really and the larger size ones I thought they might do they, they tend to buckle under and warp under putting PVA on them and they did the same thing so what I'm actually just going to do is stick some off cuts of uh, the magnetic uh, um, stuff that I use for the for the bases of the the soldiers and that means I won't have to keep having to keep wrapping them up I can just stick them all on a on the magnetic sheet and keep them safely stored. So uh, they've just been dry brushed with uh, more or less every grey under the sun on a black uh, base coat. I've gone for the very last one is uh, silver grey. I wanted these to really pop out a bit because of the scale. I've gone for, um, I've also used my flop box and um, put static grass on and I've gone for the spring again it's the same stuff I'm using on my 10 mil figures it just makes them pop more so that's the uh, straight piece. Get this one to one side now. This guy's obviously a ruined section. Again, just um, just uh, umber, uh, brown umber, whatever you want to call it, burnt umber. I can never remember. Uh, and just dry brush silver grey, and then uh, application of static grass on the top. And here's a corner section. Again, the same thing. Uh, this, of course, my usual <laughs> foresight and planning. Uh, I should have been getting out, uh, um, uh, you know, figures on a stand for you to actually see uh, to the side, and I haven't. So let's just see if we can put. These are some. This is some Jacobite infantry from Gormston's regiment. Uh, obviously, they're not on a, a stand or a base and then a magnetic base yet, but uh, it gives you a rough idea. I think they'll do quite nicely. So I don't think that really makes a difference. So yeah, thanks for stopping by and taking a quick squeeze at these. Uh, I would actually recommend them. They uh, they brush up really nice, all just dry brushed, apart from obviously the base coat of black. And as I say, so far, I've had one bounce off the off the floor and uh, come up smiling. So yeah, big thumbs up, all good. So thanks a lot guys and I'll catch you again on another vid. Cheers.